Hello, Darth Vegan here, back with Grand Tactician, the Civil War, 1861 to 1865, following the course of the American Civil War. I played this game about a year ago, I think, uh, on the channel, and I had a lot of fun with it. And there's going to be a new DLC released for the game in August uh, 25th of 2023, called uh, Whiskey and Lemons, and it follows the career path of a commander that you choose and create. And you can act as a regimental commander, a divisional commander, an army general. Uh, you can, you can uh, choose your path, and if you choose a regimental commander, you can work your way up through promotions if you, if you uh, perform well and uh, get promotions and, and gradually increase your influence through uh, prestige, which is very interesting. So I'll be, uh, I'll be following this game uh, when that DLC releases on August 25th, but I thought to, to reintroduce the channel to the game and basically to relearn the controls and everything myself I thought well, I would give it a try and maybe just play a couple of historical battles from the game so we're gonna go ahead and start a historical battle I'm gonna be playing uh, as the Union and we'll start with first Manassas or Bull Run in reality it was a Confederate major victory we have 35,000 men on the Union side versus 32,000 on the Confederate side. 65 guns with the Union, 60 guns with the Confederates, 250 cavalry versus 350, 2,708 casualties versus 1982 in the historical battle. So I'm gonna go ahead and play as the Union. Irvin McDowell is the, uh, the general in command of the Army. He also has some commanders, Daniel Tyler, David Hunter, Samuel, Heinz, Heinzelman, Dixon Miles, Theodore Runyon, and Robert Patterson. Our uh, opponent is PGT Beauregard. He uh, is commanding Joseph Johnston, Wade Hampton, Thomas Jackson, and Jeb Stewart. So we're going to go ahead and pop it up to very hard. We're going to do the AI on historical and we will get started but first a brief history of what the first battle of manassas or bull run was in reality uh, it was july 1st uh, july 21st 1861 in manassas virginia after fort sumter in charleston harbor was captured by south carolina military forces on april 14th 1861 President Abraham Lincoln called for 75,000 volunteers with 90-day enlistment to quell the rebellion. His call for militia has triggered a strong response. Southern slave states, including Virginia, that had not yet succeeded, then decided to do so and eventually joined the Confederate States of America. This brought the Civil War to the doorstep of Washington, D.C. During the summer of 1861, the Confederates constructed defenses in Northern Virginia with its Army of the Potomac, not to be confused with the later Federal Army of the same name. Under the command of the Confederate hero of Fort Sumter, Brigadier General PJT Beauregard in command. Beauregard's troops are concentrated near Manassas Junction, less than 30 miles from Washington. And Brigadier General Joseph E. Johnston's Army of the Shenandoah in the Shenandoah Valley is in support guarding Beauregard's less flank. With several smaller skirmishes and battles having already been fought, Lincoln is preparing to end the rebellion before the three-month enlistments of the majority of his soldiers expire. Those on the North strongly expected that the Civil War would end in a dramatic fashion, with the Union armies, after crushing the Confederate forces before them, sweeping aside the Confederates and capturing Richmond, Virginia, the capital of the Confederacy since that May. For this task, Lincoln's generals have two armies facing the Confederates, the Army of Northeastern Virginia, currently in Washington, D.C., and the Department of De Pennsylvania, guarding the mouth of the Shenandoah Valley. In command of the Pennsylvanians is a War of 1812 and Mexican War veteran and highly regarded officer, Brigadier General Robert Patterson. The main army has been placed under the command of Brigadier General Irwin McDowell, another veteran of the Mexican War, an experienced administrator and close friend of Major General Winfield Scott, the commanding general of all the Union armies. On July 16, 1861, McDowell's force, the largest field army ever gathered on the North American continent, some 35,000 men in number, marched from Washington, D.C., crossed the Potomac, 
intending to engage and defeat Beauregard's army. The Federal troops, mostly inexperienced and not accustomed to the hardships of soldiering, march slowly in the sweltering heat. McDowell's plan is to outflank the Confederate army that has formed its line along Bull Run Creek, abandoning Cinderville and the defenses there. Brigadier General Daniel Tyler's division was ordered first to turn the Confederate right flank, but on July 18th, Tyler's men encountered Confederate forces at Blackburn's Ford, where a minor skirmish was fought. On the same day, Beauregard requested reinforcements, especially Johnston's army. With Jeb Stewart's cavalry left behind to screen Patterson's army, Johnston forces Johnston moves to reinforce Beauregard in what became the first concentration of military forces via railroad in history. Patterson, completely deceived, happily informs Washington that he has successfully held Johnston's force at Winchester. When he finally realizes that Johnston is gone, he would need more than a day to move at and reach Manassas. On July 21st, with Johnston's army already forming a junction with Beauregard, both armies planned to attack and turn their opponents left flank. While Johnston and Beauregard planned to attack by crossing Bull Run Creek at Blackburn's Ford, McDowell's army moves first. In a few hours, the first major battle, the first major battle of the Civil War would be fought with two inexperienced and fragile armies on both sides clashing in large numbers for the first time in the Civil War. All right, to General Scott. General, I have succeeded in accordance with the wishes of the General-in-Chief in keeping General Johnston's force at Winchester from Robert Patterson. From the Headquarters Army of Northern Virginia, the orders of ba at the Battle of Bull Run, Heinzelman's division will go to Little Rocky Run on the road, hence to Centerville. Miles' division will go to, well, got to Centerville. Tyler's division will go beyond Centerville on the road to Gainesville. Hunter's division will go as near Centerville as he can get water. And the troops should be at places indicated tonight, and they must have two days cooked rations in their haversacks. There are rumors that Johnston has joined Beauregard from General Erwin McDowell. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the map here. And you can see that the Confederates have Matthews Hill, uh, Stone Bridge, uh, Henry Hill, and Lewis Ford, and Island Ford. And then you can see one uh, division here led by uh, Longstreet. He's holding Blackburn's Ford here. And then the Federal forces have uh, Grigsby's Farm here. And uh, they are facing off against Stonebridge. And then we also have an army up here at, or a division up here uh, at uh, Sudley Fords and Sandy Springs. And then Centerville is at our back. So we do have some forces coming down the uh, railroad here, the unfinished railroad. We have uh, Taylor and Baker's uh, regiments from Runyon's division. And then down here we have Hunt with his artillery. Uh, and who, who is he attached to? He is attached directly to Erwin McDowell, which is uh, not, not the greatest because he's very far away. So the orders are going to be taking a long time to get there. But let me tell you just a little bit how this game works with its command system. So that's one of the most unique things about this game is the command system. You have your order of battle in which uh, Erwin McDowell is the commander in chief of this uh, army of northeastern Virginia. So you see Erwin McDowell here with his five star, I mean, uh, four star uh, command here. And then underneath him are the division commanders. You got 1st Division, 2nd Division, 3rd Division, 4th Division, 5th Division, and 4th Brigade. And so, uh, and then the 4th uh, Brigade artillery. So the uh, McDowell here, whenever I issue orders to Tyler, those orders must come directly from uh, McDowell's division. Uh, command here. So we have his headquarters, McDowell here, up near the Unfinished Railroad. And you can see these lines coming off of him. Those are the, the lines of command he has to the different commanders. So beneath him, here is a Commander uh, Henselman of the 3rd Division. So if I give a command for Henselman to move his division, those orders must come directly from McDowell. So if I, t if I give a command to the 3rd Division, Either a courier or a bugle command will come from McDowell 
to this division, and then this division will issue his orders to his regiments or brigades. And so uh, that's one of the most interesting things about this game is the delay of orders. And so you can see this little jagged line here. That's the bugle command range. So if I give an order to 3rd Division, he it'll be almost immediate because he will hear the bugle calls and then he'll make his adjustments uh, as needed. However, if we look at uh, the 2nd Division here, he is outside of the bugle range of McDowell. So you can see this is the bugle range of McDowell. Down here is 2nd Division. He's out of the bugle range. So instead, they'll send a horsebound courier from McDowell to the 2nd Division, and then he can use his bugle commands to his uh, brigades under his command. And uh, that, that is how the uh, command system works. So it is interesting that down here, these two brigades that are down here on their own, Richardson and Hunt, are both attached directly to McDowell because anytime I give them orders to move, like say if I told Richardson to move up to the Ford here to have it under, uh, under fire, uh, I would have to wait for a courier to ride all the way down, and they usually take roads because it's faster. It had to ride all the way down through here to give that command. So it could take a while. And those couriers can get intercepted by the enemy, in which case that order will never be given. It's very interesting, and I really enjoy the game due to that aspect of it. It can be frustrating sometimes, of course, as it probably was in reality. Uh, not to say that it's 100% historically accurate, but... But anyway, it is a, it's more historically accurate than having like godlike abilities to give commands. So the 5th Division here with Dixon Miles also reports to uh, McDowell, and he's holding Centerville. So I think what I would like to do is send first this 5th Division down along Warrington Turnpike, and then maybe come down to Balls Ford and see if we can force a flanking maneuver. I don't know where the enemy is going to be located, but I'm... I'm supposing they're going to be somewhere uh, in one of these uh, points here. So I will also send commands immediately down to Richardson and Hunt. Maybe Hunt can move down to this hill on Blackburn's Ford here, this little hilltop, put his guns on top of there, and then we'll have a nice uh, overview of this area. And it looks like this is a Confederate reinforcement point because it's red. So they'll probably be coming up McLean's uh, Ford here down to McLean. And uh, we'll, we'll hopefully be able to stop them from crossing at Blackburn's Ford. And if we, it looks like they're not going to be crossing at Blackburn's Ford, then we'll do something different. But uh, we'll watch that for a little bit first to make sure we have that uh, under command. And then we'll start moving some of our divisions here uh, to get into spots that are a little more effective. So we got, uh, with the 2nd Division, we do have a cavalry brigade which would be good the u.s cavalry under uh ennis palmer and then we have uh an artillery with 14 pounders that's a big gun um 12 guns there then we have the first brigade uh with andrew porter and then we have the second brigade with ambrose burnsides and uh so we'll probably move them down to hold sudley's ford here or we might try to move down to sudley church area and hold that. I don't know what the Confederates are going to do here, but then we'll also need to start moving Runyon uh, into position as well. So let's go ahead and start giving some orders. So first Runyon's division here, we have two brigades under him, the volunteer brigade, George W. Taylor, and the militia brigade under Henry Baker. Both of those are, this is their first fight. So you can see that this is a kind of a morale debuff and, uh, it comes from their uh, this being their first fight ever. So the name of the game in the Civil War, or at least in this game, is not necessarily to kill the enemy, although that that is uh, a method of achieving your main goal. But the main goal is to break the morale of the enemy. And once you start breaking the morale, you'll see this victory counter move to the indicated uh, forces that are doing the best job. And one of the best ways to break morale, of course, is to kill enemy soldiers. <laughs> So we're going to go ahead and start moving uh, Runyon down, and I think we'll move him down to this Poplar Ford to hopefully get there in time to, uh, to do something good there. So let's go ahead and just give him that command. And uh, once I do that, you can see this dotted line coming from McDowell all the way up to Runyon. And what we'll see when I unpause it is a courier will be dispatched from McDowell, and he'll ride up there and give Runyon those commands. And Runyon will just sit there. 
until he gets those commands. Now, we do have battle initiative turned on so that uh, these generals do, in fact, um, make decisions on their own if given an opportunity. But uh, we're going to try to uh, be as uh, aggressive as possible so that they don't have to make decisions. So we'll go ahead and bring Hunter on down. And he will uh, start setting up right here, just a little bit south of his current position. And then uh, Heinzelman will be held in reserve for now. And uh, we'll see where we need him to move. Uh, Taylor, his forces, he does have some guns as well. He's going to move up to this stone bridge. So I'm going to move him up and we're going to tell them to go as well. And then down here with uh, Miles, Dixon Miles, we're going to move him down to Ballsford, like so. Yep. And then also we will issue orders for Hunt to come down to this hill, face that way. And then Richardson will get his skirmishers out. And the skirmishers will move down to the oh there there's already we got view of long street right so we're gonna go ahead and tell these guys to go into long range and they're gonna start moving down once they get those guys uh into position here so all right i'm gonna go ahead and unpause it and then we'll get these skirmishers uh that come out of there and we'll get them to move up and maybe engage the enemy a little bit so he doesn't try to do anything fishy um so uh, actually, I don't think we'll need to move Hunt. Can I cancel orders? I, for, I forget. Uh, I don't think I can. So unfortunately, he's he's going to uh, that uh, that first order to move down there is going to get there, and you can't uh, you can't do anything about it. You can't cancel those orders. So, all right. So we're going to go ahead and zoom in here to McDowell, and we should see a bunch of couriers come out of this headquarters unit. And um, one thing I don't like about this game is the how, how much the camera moves. So maybe I can change that a little bit here. All right, so we're here with McDowell. I'm going to go ahead and unpause it. And we should see some couriers start coming out. There's one courier already. I don't know where he's going. They're all just kind of sitting there, unfortunately. All right. So hopefully those commands will get moving. Oh, yeah, they go. They're moving out. There goes a courier down the road. They're all just uh, getting all their orders put together. And then everybody's just going to sit until those commands are uh, are issued to the different divisions. So here comes a courier down this road. He will go down to the second division, probably. You can see he's on his way. Once this courier gets to the second division, then uh, Hunter here, you can see he's waiting on orders. Uh, once he gets those orders, he'll start issuing his orders. And there you go. You can see the division starting to move and we'll deploy some skirmishers from him and uh, get him into, into good position. So all these other guys are still waiting on their orders. Longstreet also has the support of a, of a battery here down from Garrett. So we'll have to maybe do some counter battery fire from him and uh, hopefully get that under control. All right. So second division is on the move. I will go ahead and use some scouts from the cavalry here. So we will tell them to... No, I can't use scouts. I only has 250 men, so he doesn't have enough men to issue some scouts. So in that case, I'll just move the entire brigade down a little bit to scout out this road. I'm going to give him... Now this command will come from the... Division commander. So you can see this division commander is sending those orders to the regimental commander. Since he's close enough to be in bugle range, he'll just go ahead and uh, make those commands immediately known. So he'll move down and he'll start scouting out that area there. All right, so McDowell and uh, Heinzelman are staying in reserve. I'm going to move them up just a little bit. Move them down here. Ooh, the big, big division. go and tell them to advance so advance just means they will fire on enemies if they come into contact with them uh and so that's that's why that will work 
I think Tyler's still waiting on his commands. Yep, his uh, his courier has not gotten there yet, so we probably could see him. Yeah, here's a couple couriers on the road. So there, one of these is coming to uh, Tyler here. I don't know which one it is. And so once they get their commands, they will start moving uh, and moving forward as as ordered. Same for these guys down here. <laughs> They're just going to sit until they uh, until that order arrives there. All right, so we got our cavalry down here. And we can't see anything just yet. I'm going to go ahead and move them down to this forward. And so he'll get another command from, from his division commander here, from Hunter. They are on their way down. All right, good. So since we haven't seen anything just yet, we'll go ahead and get our artillery moving down. And we'll put them on this little bit of a hill. There's a little bit of a hill here that they can sit on. So I'm going to tell them to advance there. And then we'll get the infantry down here to hold this forward, like so. There's a nice fence there as well. And get our division commander just to come up here on the hill as well. There we go. And then we'll send this brigade down to hold this little uh, tract here. Just like so. All right. Very good. So McDowell and his uh, third division here with Henselman are on their way down. Or is it Heinzelman? I think it's Heinzelman. Okay, so those guys are still not moving yet. Uh, has he gotten his orders? Not yet. Still waiting. Still waiting on his orders. And Tyler is now moving. Good. Okay. Those guys haven't received their orders. Runyon has received his orders, and those guys are on the move as well. You can see the uh, brigades are getting into their marching stance. Oh, what these guys are doing? Are they marching down the creek? What are they doing? Seems like a not a very smart thing to do. They could have got on that road, but whatever. They don't always uh, make the best decisions. <laughs> All right, so here we are down here at the church. The cavalry has got eyes on this area, and so far, uh, nothing. So we're going to go ahead and hold this position just for now. Actually, I might just move up to this hill so that we can kind of get eyes on uh, the surrounding area. Probably the Confederates are down here at this area, but I don't know that for sure, so I'm going to have to be a little cautious. We do know Longstreet has, uh, has some men down there, so... Looks like uh, Miles still hasn't received his orders. Oh, here comes a courier now. I see it just now riding in. So Miles is going to make his men get start on the move. Good. There, he's giving the bugle calls, and they're all warming up. How about these two fellows? He's still waiting on his orders. He's still waiting on his orders. There they come. I see this courier's coming down the road. I can, however, give these... Uh, uh, skirmishers commands because they will come directly from the 4th Brigade. So if I move them down to be into firing range here then uh, that, would, that would work but I don't want them to be too close because the they'll come under fire from this 4th Brigade artillery which has says four, zero guns. What does that mean? That this artillery group doesn't have guns? What's what's the deal? What's the deal, Bill? He's got a gun, obviously. <laughs> I don't know what that, why that's indicating zero guns, but it's okay. This 4th Brigade has 3,100 guys. Ours has 2,200, much smaller, so we'll have to be careful about that. We may have to uh, concentrate our uh, artillery fire on them for a while before we make that push across the, uh, across the creek there. All right, so far I haven't seen anything from these guys. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and issue out some skirmishers from these guys. And we're going to just scout out this stone bridge a little bit. All right, so here comes our skirmishers. They're coming on out. Let's just push up to this bridge. And the skirmishers, the great thing about them is they are a smaller amount of men. So if they come under fire from enemy artillery or anything, like these guys right here, <laughs> they will uh, they'll be less likely to get killed because they're kind of spaced out and there's not very many men. So that, that's the great thing about sending skirmishers out. And also they uh, they have uh, 
better vision as well. So look at this. There is a uh, fancy little 7th Brigade of the Confederacy here. Very fancy uniforms. Probably stolen Union uniforms or old uniforms that they had prior to their uh, uh, succession. So that's completely possible. Let's take a look at these guys. They are almost into position. They can't quite see this artillery. So I'm going to move them up a little bit here past this fence. Here. And see if we can get those uh, this artillery here in sight. I might have to move them down here to this area. And we can start firing counter battery fire at that artillery position there. So this regiment here may come under fire from this artillery. Um, and if they do, then we can uh, have them lay down there. Ah, Bonham and Kemper are also holding Mitchell's Ford, which is, is interesting. So this guy is going to be soon into position. Are these guys coming under fire yet? No, they are not. Good. All right, so we can target the Ford and the bridge here, uh, but uh, I don't necessarily want to move any closer because I don't want to come under fire from 4th Brigade. They would just chew up those skirmishers. These guys are almost into position once they are. If I can reach the artillery, I will. If not, then I'll just fire on 4th Brigade and have them uh, start pumping out some some stuff there. All right, so it looks like there is someone down here at Lucis Ford. I got this division, Miles's division, coming down to Ball's Ford. I can redirect them to come down to Lewis's Ford and take it instead, and uh, we'll be in good shape. Now, up here, it looks like we don't have anything that is a serious threat. I'm going to go ahead and move my cavalry up just a little bit further, and we'll go up to Matthews Hill here and see what we can see with our uh, cavalry scouts. And up here, this division, 3rd Division, Heinzelman, he's still on the move. Man, they are taking their sweet time, aren't they? Taking their sweet time. So um, I'm just going to wait. I might be able to pull a nice flank up and then move uh, Tyler's division up and come in and flank from behind there, possibly, and uh, see what happens there. All right, so Hunt, he he facing the right direction? He's still not in position yet. Okay. He's still marching. There they go. They're firing already. And they are firing directly on Longstreet here. And I have suddenly lost sight of them. So let's just move forward with the skirmishers a little bit. Move this division forward a little. Oh, I have to wait for order orders for that division to move, though. I mean, that regiment. All right, so you can see this little puffs of smoke where this uh, 4th Brigade is using their 12-pounder Napoleons to uh, fire on these guys. So it's a 4.62-inch mediocre accuracy range, 1,600 yards, weight 1,225 pounds, three rounds per minute, so not bad. I can't quite get eyes on the 4th Brigade. You can see this orange cone of fire here. They can shoot way down here because the, but they can't fire up here, I guess, because of the hill and the trees are in the way. But it looks like they can see maybe the fourth division here a little bit if I can keep eyes on them. So right now they don't currently see them. So I'm going to have to move just a little bit closer so I can get eyes on those guys. They must have laid down or something. Still don't see them. Wow. Okay. Interesting. I could give a bombard command because they're probably still in this area. Uh, no, 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 no. Don't move down there. No. Oh, no. Oh, we see him again. Good. We see him again. Unfortunately, now he's going to get a command to move down there, which really sucks. So, well, until then, he'll he'll fire on those guys with his own initiative. But then he's going to get the command to move down here and bombard, which really sucks. That's the bad thing about the game is the the, uh, the controls aren't necessarily always conducive to doing what you want them to do. All right, so let's see. Matthews Hill, I can go ahead and capture Matthews Hill here with this cavalry because they are completely unopposed at the moment. 
Meanwhile, I'm going to get the second division to go ahead and move on up. I would give the command to the division in entirety, but unfortunately, since the cavalry is up there, I don't want to do that. I'll go ahead and move these guys up there. These guys will move up here. And we'll get the D division headquarters up here behind them as well. All right. Okay. So those guys are still moving into position. McDowell and Heinzelman are staying back here, just lollygagging their, their way around. Runyon is still on his way down. We got Tyler. Do you guys, are you guys ever going to get into position or what? Like we're trying to move across this fence. You take down a fence before you move and see how you like it. <laughs> All right. So, so far, 4th Brigade been under fire for a couple of rounds here. No casualties. It should be hurting their their morale, though, so that's good. I don't know what I'm going to do about this. Um, I'm going to have to issue another command for him to not move. I should have done it sooner. I'm going to go ahead and tell him to move right here instead. Yeah. So he's going to get a second thing command. <laughs> All right. So he's going to have to move back again. But hopefully the courier will get down there before he does anything stupid. Are they firing? They are. Who are they firing at? These guys? Yeah, these guys are under fire. So I'm going to go ahead and lay them down. You guys lay down. Here we go. We have had three losses already. But uh, I think that will be okay here. All right, so we were firing back. I'm going to tell these guys to do anti-counter-battery uh, fire. So they will fire directly at this 7th Brigade artillery. Right now they're targeting this infantry up here, but I think we'll be able to target these guys. Or maybe not. Looks like that might be outside their range. We'll see. The command comes from the headquarters here. And let's see. He is now idled because he can't see that gun. So it's outside of his range. Okay, that's all right. Fire at will then. Okay. Let's go send a courier over. I'm going to go ahead and move the headquarters up a little bit because uh, I'm going to be giving commands to this guy here. So, All right, 7th Brigade is going to come under fire. It's 1,400 men. I think that'll be fine. All right, we're capturing Matthews Hill unopposed. All right, so there might be some enemy forces down there, so we'll have to be careful of that. Let's see if we can get this artillery up to Matthews Hill. There we go. And Matthews Hill is taken. Good job. Good job, man. Hold that for, an, for now. And we'll move these guys down. And uh, we might be able to cut off Henry House as well. But we'll move down here to Matthews Hill first. Yeah. Let's move down to Stone House. There we go. And hunters move on down Matthews Hill. There we go. Very good. Runyon is on his way down. He is almost to his location at Poplar Ford, which looks like it's not going to be important. So we're going to move it, him on further down to cross that. And then this guy, you can come on down as well. Heinzelman, you're going to be needed down here. McDowell, come on down here as well. Very right, good. Very good. All right. So we've got a bit of a shootout down here. I'm going to go ahead and move these guys back just a little. And it's, hopefully I still have eyes on those guys here. Fall back. I don't want to lose more than three. He's got three men's loss, but hopefully I can get out of range here. and Still keep these guys in vision. These guys are idle, it says, but they're obviously firing on on these guys. Which have, by the way, any losses? Ten casualties. Good job. So we'll whittle away at their, uh, at their morale. All right. These guys are almost into position. Looks like this brigade here, if I can put him over here, I might be able to do some counter-battery fire. 
All right, you come over here. All right, first brigade, go ahead and send out your skirmishers. And you send out your skirmishers. We're gonna get these skirmishers down here to keep eyes on these guys. Oh, and they are under fire, okay. All right, you guys go ahead and lay down. They're not under fire, but I just wanna keep them in a position where they're not under fire. All right. So Tyler's in position, Runyon is on his way down, good, okay, Einstein's on his way down. Alright, so oh, look, there are some people here at Stonebridge, oh that's Tyler in his group, right? Yeah, Taylor, Tyler, Tyler is going to get help from this fellow. Alright, so he's up there, alright, good, 2nd Brigade. Um, I'm going to move this entire division up this way, just like so, advance, and we're going to, ah, aha, Henry Hill does have troops, and they're moving troops further up there to Henry Hill, so we're going to have to crush this unit here as quickly as possible. Runyon, get down here, advance, all right. First Brigade, I'm going to start moving you down, there we go, we're going to take these skirmishers back in, well we'll move the skirmishers across first, let's cancel that, let's move them down here first, we'll just walk in, and get your skirmishers out. And then we're going to move these guys up. We're going to try to push this uh, these guys out. We're going to give them the double time. All right, so these uh, skirmishers are going to come up. They're going to try to double time to get these uh, artillerymen under fire. Unfortunately, they are under fire themselves from this brigade up here. But if we can push this cannon off, it'll be worth it. There we go. Kill them. All right, these skirmishers come on up as well. Give them the double time order. All right. These guys are not in good shape. So far not doing much in, in the way of those uh, fire on those, those guys. So this is a failed attempt to push these guys away. Can we move over here? All right, now that now they're starting to waver a little bit. Now these guys are running back. They're moving back. Okay, they broke. They're going to move back to the division. I mean, to the regiment. These guys, on the other hand, are not under fire from these guys, so that's good. So we're punishing this guy here. We're going to go ahead and start moving this brigade up. Move on up. This brigade is going to move on up as well. And you as well. You are going to move up that hill. Alright, good. We chased the guys off the guns. Alright, awesome. And headquarters, move on down. Okay, good. Alright, so we chased those guys off. That's excellent. Alright, uh, these guys are coming under fire. Can you lay down please? These guys, are they firing? Yes, they are. Can you do counter battery fire? Yes, you can. Awesome. So those guys are moving there, doing that. What's happening down here? Where's my... Where's my cannons at? Did they... Did they get routed? Stonebridge West is taken. Sweet. Where'd my... Where'd my artillery unit go that was down here? <laughs> did they get routed off whenever they started moving? I bet they did. Okay. Darn it. Okay. Well, that was that was a misclick that caused that. Okay, so these guys are firing on Lewis Ford. That's good. Stonebridge. Let's go ahead and move these guys up. These skirmishers will form a flank. Flanking maneuver. Okay. 
These guys continue to fire on them. You guys move on up. Advance. Double time, please. You guys move on up. Advance. Double time. There we go. We're going to force that flank. These guys. Oh my god, we got trouble. All right, you guys come up here, get on this fence row. You guys move back. Go, go, go. We got got some guys trying to flank us. Very, very smart of them. You guys come on over. That's cavalry. Okay. There we go. These guys are all marching, so if we can get some good shots on these guys. Double time, please. Double time. Double time. We might be able to get some shots on these guys while they're disorganized. Man, Heinzelman is freaking taking forever to get down here. Alright. I don't know what this brigade is doing, but he's taking his sweet time, too. Alright, we chased off that brigade, looks like. So we could try to capture them here. Oh no, that's our skirmishers. Darn it. Okay. These guys are all banged up on the bridge here. These guys are trying to get back on their guns. Get your skirmishers out, please. Alright, skirmishers coming out. Fire at them. Come on, guys, get unclustered. Yep, fire on them, please. Get them off of there. Fire on these guys. Alright. These guys are going to be firing on them. And the flanks, that should be good. These guys can't quite see them. Go long range, can you? Not quite. Alright. That's good. Got some cohesion problems over here. Alright. Cavalry. Oh, the artillery got lost their morale there. Alright, they're trying to retake Matthews Hill. On in the meantime, we are doing a good job of forcing these guys into a position of non goodness push that forward okay those guys are moving up those guys are moving up good get this headquarters up matthews hill is lost okay i don't know what's taking so long with these guys these guys are just not wanting to move it's just sometimes they get stuck like this all right, so we're doing good here. They're under artillery bombardment and flanked. These guys should break here pretty soon. We might be able to charge once they break and uh, capture a lot of them. Completely eliminate that brigade, which would be good. All right. So Rogers here, brigade. It's five casualties. Nine guys have no casualties yet, okay. Could go ahead and move these skirmishers up. As with these guys will move up as well. There we go. See if we can get some shots on those guns. Meanwhile, down here, Longstreet and Bellows are just having a standoff with those guys. That's fine. Not too worried about that. Einzelman. Pff, worthless. Sherman is in contact. Okay. How we doing? All right. They're they're doing it. They're breaking. Okay, good. Let's charge these guys. Charge them from both sides. Now, charging can have some mixed effect. Uh, you can your guys can break from charging as well. And so uh, you kind of have to do it cautiously. Um Okay. 
I might not be able to get these guys here. Keys. Keys detachment. Let's go to keys. Bring his skirmishers back in. Don't need them. All right, these guys are finally moving. Oh my gosh. Ooh, crazy. Bring your skirmishers back in. All right, let's bring these guns up. These guns will be useful for this little engagement. Go ahead and move them up here. Very good. These guys are still moving. Jeez, we really need help down here too. All right, let's get this cavalry moving over this way. Good, 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 move. Can you fire long range, please? Fire long range. Did our artillery ever get back up? No, they're still broken. Can you rally your guys, please? Rally. All right, we're gonna get this hit this division and we're gonna move them down. And we could try to flank them, but I think we'll push this flank at Lewis Ford and uh, see if we can knock these guys off our flank. That way we don't have to worry about it. And Tyler's division will move on up. So we're gonna get Runyon down here, like so. All right, can you guys move across the creek? You guys move across the creek. See if you can get up there. There you go. Move on up. Move on up. There we go. Okay. That's going to be treacherous. I think we'll be all right. Okay. So Runyon is waiting on his orders to get there. Tyler is going to wait on his orders. He's going to have to come down here to Henry Hill. There we go. Start marching, boys. All right. This cavalry unit, I'm going to move them on up. And then once we get up there, we'll dismount. And hopefully we can uh, take out this art uh, artillery here. It's got some dismounted cavalry up there. Come on, guys. Get your orders. All right. These guys are firing, looks like. Who are you firing at? Can you fire at these guys? Not quite. Okay. They are exhausted, unfortunately. I need some reinforcements down here, Heinzelman. Come on, get it. Get your, get your guys moving. Get down here. All right, here comes the cavalry. Should be moving here soon. Here comes the courier. Oh, they're, they're moving forward. Wow, okay. Jackson's detachment. Moving right up into the fire of my boys here. Are they charging or are they just marching forward? Looks like they're maybe charging. Okay. Change your fire to them, please. Okay. Cavalry's coming up. We'll get them to dismount. There you go. Get ready to fire. Give them loose orders. Loosen up, boys. Do not uh, under fire from that. Have this artillery here. All right, they're shooting at them. Good. Let's clean them out. I would charge them in, but there's infantry right here that just wreck these cavalry if we go charging in. All right, got five casualties already. We should be able to scare them off pretty quick, I think. All right, got third brigade from Taylor coming in. Tyler coming in here. It's good. Where's our artillery? Are they coming as well? They are, but they're really slow. Okay. Still looking good over here with Longstreet. 
no uh, no action we're holding that forward these guys are still running that's good those guys are holding still as well unfortunately Runyon and uh, Taylor is getting kind of mixed up here all right this militia brigade I may have them grab these guns as well send a detachment out and get those guns we can use them all right how are we doing over here still confident morale's taking a hit though high fatigue under artillery fire okay these guys are about to break they're wavering they've lost quite a few men it's good these guys still overall positive morale but you know it's getting it's getting worse we really need these reinforcements Jackson's detachment they're uh, they're losing faith so I want freaking Heinzelman down here stat but he is just like taking his sweet time tell you what where's McDowell at here's McDowell I'm gonna go ahead and tell him to move on down here as well that way he can uh, have a better look at the uh, no 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 there you go move forward start shooting at these guys please all right we chased off one artillery brigade that's good also pushed back J Jackson's detachment of skirmishers all right if we can get some skirmishers off these guys we might be able to move them up and get them laying some fire down on these artillery boys all right go ahead and move on up hunt is withdrawn yep okay he left <laughs> so that was the guy that was down here with the uh, long uh, facing long street so all right Ayers is still freaking waiting for his orders he says okay well, it's taking so long but sometimes it does all right keys detachment and Sherman's detachment let's go ahead and move him down here hold this line there we go All right, where's Runyon? Runyon, he's still down here and just all clustered up. A big idiot. Okay. Baker's got some guns. That's good. I think I'll bake. Take Baker's guns down here. This area. All right, so we captured those enemy guns. That's good. McDowell's on the way down. This guy's. A little bit disturbed because he's getting flanked. All right, he pushed those guys off. Let's go ahead and bring these guys back. Fall back. Get out of there. We're getting too close to the enemy there. All right, they're they're falling back. Enemy's falling back. I would pursue, but we're gonna have to uh, let my guys rest a little bit. Oh, good. Look, we got some skirmishers in action against these guys. That's good. So they're uh, hitting that third brigade artillery getting a nice pincer on them but uh, unfortunately my guys are in bad shape so we're gonna have to fall back a little bit until Heinzelman can get down here jeez come on Heinzelman all right miles I think you should be in a position to start firing at these guys these guys are taking their sweet time too all right Go ahead and move these guys around. Advance. Advance. All right, get the headquarters across. Okay. These skirmishers should chase off this gun here as soon as he gets into range. Let's fire because he's still firing at the counter battery fire. He hasn't turned to uh, fire at these guys just yet. 
There you go. Like he's limbering up. There you go. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. He, is he running? Nice. I turn you off counter battery fire. Fire at will. All right, yeah, we got him off his guns. Skirmishers, charge him. It's just artillery, man. You got him. Come on, boys, charge him. Unit outflanked. <laughs> charge! They're routing. Charge them. Capture those guys. Come on, Union boys! For America! America, bro. America. There you go. Get those guys. Fantastic. Alright, we captured some of them, looks like. Uh, maybe we didn't. We're gonna shoot at them when they're running. All right, are these guys gonna move ever? What's what's the deal? There we go. Good. All right, you guys come on up. There you go. Fire at them. Are they firing at will? Still waiting on orders. Okay. That's all fine. Going to mount these guys back up. There you go. Can you rally your men? Okay. Those guys are coming back up to their guns, looks like. Let's go ahead and run up, shoot them. Before they get on their guns. Oh, crap. We just got wrecked by this gun down here. We push forward a little bit. Move forward. Advance. Advance. There we go. Shoot at them. Move forward. Come on, men. Move forward. This freaking artillery is still crossing the bridge. Okay. Well, what's happening at Lewis Ford? Those guys, I guess, left. Or I don't have eyes on them. What do they do? Let's go ahead and move up. Move up. Go ahead and move on up. There we go. Oh, man. Lost my skirmishers. These cavalry pushed them off. Oh, I lost my cavalry. Dang it. All right, they're running. Can you rally? Rally your men, please. McDowell's like, what are you doing up there? Okay. Oh, well, crap, these guys are busting this cavalry. All right. Come on down here. Gonna be in the marsh, which is not ideal. There you go. All right. Like we might be taking Matthews Hill again. What's Hanselman doing? Is he ever freaking gonna do anything? Jeez. Battle's gonna be over by the time he gets up here. No, I don't want you to do that. Heinzelman, can you send your brigades down there before it's too late? Maybe yeah, if I send it on a brigade level instead of division level, it'll be get done. These guys are like in terrible shape. Like all winded. Okay. Those guys are all moving forward. Good. Runyon. I don't know what's happening with him. Oh, more guys coming up. 
Jeez, okay. More reinforcements. Yule and Jones. It's 3 o'clock. Been fighting for a while now. Let's see if we can hold this. Down here. Advance. Second brigade coming up. Fire at them. You guys move on up. Double time, please. Move on up. You guys double time it. You need to get in position before these guys get up here and form up. There we go. Come on. If we can stop this brigade before they get into position, we can fire on them and hurt them really bad. Come on, guys. Hustle, hustle, hustle. They're untrained, you know? Just volunteers. Uh oh, they're forming up. It's too late. Oh. Start firing. There you go. Good job, man. Holy crap, that's a lot of reinforcements. Holy smokes! Okay. We're definitely going to have to push this guy off Lewis forward here. Alright, come on up. Jump. Come on, dance. Next, firing at these guys down here. All right, Taylor. We're gonna have to push these guys off, man. They ain't got time to wait. Move up. Move up. We got most of those guys coming off. We're gonna have to get this guy under crossfire. There you go. He's coming. Cavalry is panicked, but they're uh, they're recovering. Looks like. There you go. Push them back. Push them back. All right. First brigade is broken. Keys. So let's see if I can give a rally command. There we go. Good. These guys are not in good shape. I broke. Dang it. Rally. Rally. Alright, those guys broke as well, bro. Great. Okay. Can you move this gun up this way, please? Double time it. Alright, guys, move on up. We're gonna have to advance up this hill. What are you... Why are you guys wheeling such a... Oh, it's horrible. Horrible maneuver. Alright. Lots of artillery on the way up. Holy cow. Alright. I want to capture those guys. Skirmishers, come on out. Davies attachment. I want you to come after these guys. Advance. Run. I want you to shoot those guns when they're on the, on the march. Oh, freaking headquarters here. Army of the Potomac. Alright. We're going to have to push this guy off Lewis Ford quick. That's for sure. Alright. Get up there, boys. There you go. Alright, first brigade's taking some losses. That guns. There you go. Shoot them. Fifth brigade's taking some heavy losses. Alright. Ah, shoot. They got their guns turned on our skirmishers. Alright, they're going back. 
Bring your skirmishers back. Okay. This is not good up here, for sure. I do have cover, so that's good. Bombard. All right, they're they're running. They're running. Okay, good. Let's let's move on up. Advance. Can't advance because headquarters too far away. Advance. Headquarters move on up as well. These guys have a good line of sight on these batteries. I'm gonna tell them to do counter battery fire. There we go. We're capturing Lewis Ford. It's good. We got a minor victory coming our way. Okay. Is freaking Heinzelman here yet? And his boys? Not yet. Alright, guys move on up, advance. Move on up, advance. Okay. Fire on them. Fire on them. Headquarters move on up. Where's his artillery at? They're still way back here. Okay, come on down here. There we go. Alright. You guys move on up. You guys. He's still moving. Come on down. There we go. Einzelman, what are you doing up here? Get down here. He's terrible. You're the worst. Get on down there. Like, but my, my brigades are not in good position. It's because you're a horrible commander. Okay. We got a huge cluster of enemy troops down here that are not going to hold forever if we don't do something. Alright, get our skirmishers out. Kind of help uh, take the heat off of us a little bit. There you go. Alright, them boys. Alright, them boys. There you go. Alright, can you guys move forward just a little? Alright. Let's try this one more time. There we go. Start firing. Bombard that area, please. Alright. Those guys are firing at them. This brigade. Move on up. Advance. Entire brigade move up. Advance. There we go. Pushed off some of that artillery. Good. Move on up. Advance. We're going to flank these boys. Good, 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 good. Alright. Runyon still back here. Okay. Let's get this headquarters moved up. Gonna have to rally, please. I guess we did we push those guys off? Not quite yet. Move up. Advance. Advance him. Alright, you guys, can you grab some of these guns? There we go. Let's move on up. Advance. You guys move on up. Advance. I think we might have changed history here, fellas. We might have changed history. Okay. You move on up to this hill. Advance. Nice. Okay, so we are pushing them off there. That's good. Alright, it's firing at them. 
blinkers atta detachment. Let's get these guys back. Don't need those skirmishers. Se Second Brigade, do you still have your skirmishers out? No, you do not. Okay, good. One move up. Move him up. Alright. Artillery, come up on this hill. Okay. You guys are going to have to move forward just a little. They're still firing. Good. They're all clustered up in that little defilade. Okay. These guys are not doing great. Morale-wise. Alright, pushing all those guys back. That's good. Let's get this, uh, this headquarters moved up. Keep these guys in the range. Alright, this volunteer brigade. Move them down here. Oh, they're still panicked. They can't do anything. These guys are still up here. Oh my god, this is nuts. There you go. Push forward, push forward. Flank them. Excellent, excellent, excellent job. Now these guys are moving to our left flank, and we don't have anything to counter it at the moment. Let's get this first brigade to move down here, up this road. A little bit uh, out of our commander's range there, so that's not ideal. Alright, what are you shooting at? Are you shooting at that guy down there? Good. Okay. Definitely need more troops down here. They're still just holding down here. <laughs> okay. Okay. These guys are moving on up. Still firing, still confident. Push forward. Advance. Go ahead and capture these guns. Gonna turn them on the enemy. It's almost nightfall. So we're, if we're gonna win this, we're gonna have to do it quick. I just about got all these guys pushed off. Alright. Let's go ahead and move this guy down. Like so. There we go. This gun's firing on them. That's good. Awesome. He still got quite a bit of uh, firepower, so that's good. Still a lot of activity down here. Are you getting ready to fire, bud? We can't see Jack. Alright, they're falling back. They're firing and falling back, but they're falling back. Advance, please. They can't quite see anything there. Alright, let's move forward. Push. Not quite a charge, but... Okay. Good. Fire, fire, fire. They're, they're running, they're running. Good. Keep pushing, men. Keep pushing. You want to halt right here, please? There you go. That's a nice flank. You got him. You got him. These guys are on their way over. Good. Oh, my gosh. Runyon. Can you get some guys doing something? Oh, my cavalry are back up. Good. Okay. Got these guns. This gun in action. Come on down. Okay. This is a kind of a cluster down here. For sure. Second Brigade hasn't done a dang thing yet. Alright, 
The enemy seems to be retreating from the field. My goodness. Thank goodness. All right. So we are winning. They are retreating. Let's see if we can capture some guys. Got basically 27 minutes to finish this. Okay. Push forward. Push forward. We haven't won yet. I mean, we have won, but it's not over yet. They, uh, they're still fighting. Okay. First Brigade's trying to capture some guys, but they're losing some guys in the, in the meantime, so... Might not have been the best move. Alright, come on up. Double time, please. Okay. Those guys are all running. Get some skirmishers to harass. Can I get my cavalry up here? Capture those guys. I'm gonna charge those guys that are running. Oh, watch out! Never mind. <laughs> There's an enemy still not running yet. Not the best cavalry charge terrain up a hill by a river they are about to crumble but they're not crumbled yet so all right fall back not too late he broke <laughs> well I fell into that trap okay those guys are all running good Go ahead and move up here. Blank these guys. Alright. They're about to break. They're about to break. It's going to be a major victory. Battle of Bull Run. History has been modified. Alright. Go ahead and push forward. Okay. They're all wavering. They're running. They're routing. Charge. Charge. All oh, the guys are exhausted, unfortunately. Okay. I think we got this. This down here is still inactive. Okay, they're running now. Okay, good. Alright. Well, I think that's it. Look at the field here. They're all running. We're Chase, and my army is victorious. Okay, so our infantry, uh, we had casualties of 2,641 of 32,000. Lost 123 of our cavalry, which is half. 18 of our 67 guns, for a total of 2,848 of 38,000. The uh, Confederates, on the other hand, lost 7,500 of their 32,000, 250 of their 350 cavalry, all of their guns. They lost every single one of their guns amazing and uh so that's not bad it's not bad but anyway that is uh the battle of bull run first battle of manassas hope you enjoyed it if you did be sure and hit that like button leave me some comments below if you want me to play a different historical battle if not i'll just go down the list maybe do uh wilson's creek next or uh p ridge glorietta pass shiloh second manassas antietam perryville stones river chancellorville champion hill Gettysburg, Chickamauga, uh, Alusti, Wilderness, New Market, Bentonville, a lot of different ones, and Appomattox. So uh, if you're interested in seeing any of those, uh, be sure and let me know, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.